This is Radio TV Phono Nut, and today we have the chassis out of a out of a Clinton brand Cathedral radio. Here's the cabinet right here. Not a bad looking little set, but that red grill cloth or whatever color it technically is is going to have to go. I don't believe that's original. This was something I purchased recently. And it's obvious that it's been worked on, but they didn't do a whole lot to it. On the speaker, there's a label with some guy's name and number on it, likely the owner of the set who had it repaired. And when it got shipped to me, the output transformer came loose from the speaker frame and broke one of the wires on the transformer. And you can see by the heat shrink tubing here that Either this transformer was replaced, or for whatever reason, they cut the wires and re-spliced them. They kept the whole disintegrating power cord. I don't see anything shorting out, but it's obvious the cloth insulation has definitely seen better days, so that will be replaced. Looking underneath, I can see that they replaced the electrolytic filter capacitors. It looks like they have two... Uh, 10 microfarads in parallel here and a couple of 10 microfarads or something or another we'll say they're tens it don't matter have those in parallel and here are a couple of 1960 or 70s style chocolate drop capacitors that were replaced but nothing else looks to have been done all right, let's clip in my test speaker to this audio output transformer and see if we get anything. Okay, it seems to be totally dead. No tube illumination, no voltage on the rectifier tube from the power transformer, no nothing. So we likely have an open somewhere. Could have an open power cord, could have an open power switch, could have an open on the primary winding on the transformer. Could be a broken wire anywhere in that circuit, and that's all easy enough to check with an ohm meter. Okay, it looks like someone added a fuse to the AC input, and you can see where they used heat shrink tubing, which looks to have been done a long time ago to insulate the leads, and they wrapped the fuse with scotch tape to insulate it. Well, the fuse seems to be blown according to my meter continuity test. Now it could have blown because something shorted in the radio or it could have blown because they used too small of a fuse to begin with. There's any number of reasons it could have happened. Well, We now have the fuse jumped with a clip lead. That's not something I would recommend you do unless you have the proper electronic monitoring equipment as in a a amp meter connected in your power line or a dim bulb tester or a variable AC power supply with a that's fused and has a built in amp meter. But we're gonna fire it up now, bring it up slowly and watch our voltage and current on the AC power supplies meter here. Ooh, look at here. As you can tell, we're drawing way too much current here. Way, way, way too much current. And we're only in, inputting, what, 10 volts maybe? So yes, yeah, something is fouled up there. Alright, I'm reading across the primary winding and I'm reading 8.2 ohms. Usually measure somewhere between 10 and 20 ohms depending on the transformer so we at least we know we don't have a dead short across the primary winding. I'm now going to remove the rectifier tube and that will prevent any B plus voltage from coming up and then we'll recheck and see what kind of current we're drawing. This is really not looking good to be honest with you. I have the 80 rectifier tube removed. I have our AC voltmeter connected to the two high voltage pins from the power transformer. Now let's apply power, bring it up slowly and see what our current looks like. Still not looking good at all. However, we are getting some output voltage on our transformer, about 33 volts AC. Now 
but as you can tell as I keep raising this the the current just keeps going up and up and we're on the we're on the 3 amp range and it should not be doing this at all we have AC coming out of the transformer but much too much current draw which leads me to believe that we probably have a shorted winding okay I've removed all of my tubes that eliminates any filament load on both of the high volume, the rectifier tube filament winding as well as the winding for the other tubes and it also eliminates any load on the high voltage winding now the next step is to check from all of our windings to chassis here and make sure there's no short I'm on the high voltage winding now and I'm getting something there but I should be because it's a center tapped winding now I'm on my rectifier tube filament winding which should be 5 volts winding by the way I'm getting no kind of path to ground there now let's move over to our 6.3 volt winding and as you can see I'm getting a dead short there I don't like that okay I think I've discovered our failure mode it looks like the high voltage winding is shorted and generally on these the high voltage winding is center tapped with the center tap either connected directly to chassis ground or connected to some type of voltage divider network that consists of resistors so they can obtain bias voltage but you really don't need to know that now I have one end of our own meter lead connected to our center tap and the other end of our own meter lead is touching one leg one side of the winding and we're reading 157 ohms now if this were a good winding I should read the same thing on the other side however on the other side I'm reading 216 ohms uh, so that leads me to believe that the side that's reading 157 ohms has severely shorted turns and that's the reason it's drawing too much current it may be outputting voltage there but it's running hot and it's drawing too much current so uh, unfortunately this power transformer is bad and I believe this set uses 2.5 volt tubes for the exception of the rectifier which is a 5 volt so we have a center tapped B plus winding which is probably maybe 700 volt center tapped and we have a 5 volt filament winding for the rectifier and it looks like we have a center tapped winding for the filament for the other tubes that's the reason when I was testing it on the filament here to ground I was getting a reading because the center tap is going to ground but yeah had I had a crystal ball that worked and could have told that the power transformer was shorted in this I would have probably left this alone but that's the chance you take when you buy this stuff you never know what you're going to get so we're going to just shelve this for now and maybe one day I'll find a transformer for it